Welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Tom Nurse and I'm a Senior Software Consultant at BMC. In this course I will demonstrate the many advantages of automating the ZOS shutdown and IPL process by using MainView Console Management or MVCM. But first let's examine a typical manual shutdown IPL. An IPL is simply the boot process required for IBM ZOS mainframe systems, which is a regularly scheduled part of routine maintenance. Manual IPLs are typically performed on a regular basis, issued one at a time, require operators to search console output for messages which require the appropriate response, set up by a system programmer but issued by an operator, and are often at night, on weekends, or during otherwise off-hours periods. For an IPL, the operator sorts through an array of consoles and other desktop sessions to find the master NIP console for the ZOS systems to be shut down and IPL'd. This particular system employs AOTOM, which is used to manage the shutdown process, stopping all the started tasks, shutting down VTAM and JES2, etc. This process can take 5 to 10 even 30 minutes depending on the number of online systems running and other factors. When complete, ZOS issues a message MyTom Automated Shutdown Complete. When the operator notices this message, he issues the ZEOD command to close the log files. This process of waiting for and noticing key events and responding with the appropriate command continues. Next, the operator moves to the HMC console, either to the monitor attached to an HMC or via remote access from a web browser. From the HMC home page, he selects Log On and Launch the Hardware Management Console web application, which then opens a new page. He enters his own, or maybe a shared, user ID and password. From the next panel, he needs to drill down to the LPAR to be IPL'd. He selects the Groups icon, then double-clicks. At this point, many screens are traversed and commands entered via the HMC. Once the operator is finished with the HMC, he again returns to the console to monitor the NIP and IPL messages. If something goes wrong and the LPAR does not successfully load, he would have to go back to the HMC console, reload the LPAR, and try to watch or hold the system console to attempt to find the NIP time error message indicating the cause of the problem. Once determined, the correction could be made and the LPAR process would begin again. In summary, the operator is required to wait for and notice actionable events and respond with the appropriate commands to successfully complete the shutdown IPL process. Now let's examine a system that has MVCM automated shutdown IPL rules in place. Before the scheduled IPL window, a system programmer would enter all the PARMs, commands, and wait events for each IPL into a spreadsheet to be read by the MVCM rules. When shutdown IPL time rolls around, an operator can simply go to the MVCM viewer, move to the Explorer tree, drill down to the LPAR he needs to IPL, right-click on the session, and click on the shutdown IPL command. The predefined rule prompts for the shutdown and IPL options to be used. In this case he selects true for a complete shutdown. The option for IPL is also selected as true, signifying that after the system has come down, the rules will reload to IPL the LPAR. Once the selections are made and the OK button pushed, the rule can further prompt the operator one more time to verify the selections, including the LPAR name and possibly the load address and the load profile name. The automated rules take over, and as before, AOTOM is invoked to manage the shutdown process. Here is a list of the actions that the rules perform automatically as the system shuts down and restarts. And if a NIP time error did occur, the operator would simply just scroll back through the past NIP messages, find the cause of the error, correct the problem, and reissue the shutdown IPL command. In addition, this shutdown IPL process could have been scheduled, eliminating the need for operator initiation. 
In that case, multiple IPLs could be scheduled simultaneously. In summary, MVCM can automate IPLs which increase productivity, enhance availability, mitigate risk, and increase performance. For more information about automating shutdown IPLs, as well as other capabilities of MainView console management, please visit www.bmc.com slash support slash product documentation. Thank you for joining me.